Hello and welcome coders. This is Coder Man and today I'm going to show you how to upload files with FTP.NET Core Visual Studio. On our last episode we learned how to enumerate, download, do a bunch of other shit with files but this time we're going to upload one. So let's just jump right into it. So we've got our original stuff here from last time and you know what we can just not use that in the main method so we'll delete that. For now and let's write a private static async task upload file. Now what sort of file are we going to upload? Well let's go to our FTP, back to code man, and we'll call this file file I'm upload. And in the file we're going to have this is an uploaded file. And it's going to be this file we upload. So let's just grab it. File I'm upload, copy that path and bring it into here. We'll put the path just into a constant. File I'm upload. And because it's just a string, we'll put an at sign in front of it and we'll, it'll let us put these characters. If we don't have the at sign, all we got to do is do double backslash. Okay, so let's upload this file. I've never uploaded a file using this library before. Just like last time, we're using this FTP client from Fluent FTP. Look it up on Nougat or check out my last video to see how to get it. So let's uh, create a new FTP client. You know what? We'll just copy this shit. And since we're actually got code here that's the same, what we should do is create a method called create FTP client. And all this will do is return exactly what we were doing before. Then if we want to use that function, all we go is create FTP client here. And you can see it's a lot easier when we reuse code rather than having to type it out over and over and over again. Okay, so let's figure out how to actually upload a file. I'm assuming it's going to be ftp.upload. There you go, upload async. We can go upload file async and just put in a local path, which is what we've got in our constant file to upload there, this one here, but that's no fun, that's too easy. So we'll do upload async. And what does that need? It needs a, a byte array or a file stream. Let's use a file stream because that's funner. So in here, we're using file stream, fs equals new, File stream, and so we can put a path, a mode, a handle, or we can go file dot open read, and we can put in a path. So we'll just do that. File to upload is the path of the file that we want to upload. Funny that, isn't it? <clears throat> and then we're in a stream now. We go FTP upload async, put in our file stream fs remote path. Well, I just want it in the base directory of our FTP server. So if we have a look in our FTP, we've just, we just want it in here, not in our process folder. So since this is the root path, all we need to do is name the file. So we do path, get file name, and we go file to upload. So we'll just get the file I'm a upload.txt as the result of path or get file name. What else do we want? Overwrite? Sure. We don't actually need to put any of that in. I'm pretty sure that's all we need. We'll await that. Ooh, caps lock. We'll await that. And then that's literally it. So in our main, we'll put in upload file dot wait. And let's just see what happens. Put a breakpoint here and press F5. Let's see how we go. Build succeeds for the first time. We'll put our folder on the right, like last time. Visual Studio on the left, like last time. We'll step over FTP create client, seems to work, open read, file to upload, and upload async. And there it appears. How magical, how amazing, how awesome. But that's not that exciting, is it? So what we're going to do now is we're going to create an FTP WPF app. So let's go file, new, project. We'll type in WPF. We're going to use the .NET framework for this, and luckily, it's going to work just the same. 
as a .NET Core for our demo purposes anyway. We'll call this FTP client. We'll create a new solution, .NET Core 4.72. We'll create, oh dear, FTP client WPF. It's gotta be unique guys. Here we go. So this time we're gonna upload a file again. So to get that file, we go manage NuGet pack, to get that FTP client, I mean, we could type, then we type in FTP. It's the Fluent FTP, we'll install that, and that's installed. What I want for now is a button. It's gonna say upload. And that's the button in the middle. We want the button to have a height of 30 and a width of 30. No, a width of 90. We get a little button in the middle of the screen called upload. Let's add a click event. Click, tab, tab. There we go, done. I press F12 on that and we'll jump to the actual code. So what we wanna do now is when the button's clicked to prompt for the file that we wanna to upload to our FTP server. But we also wanna copy the code from our last project and we'll just copy this function for now. Chuck it in here, create FTP client. In the future, we're gonna be able to configure our FTP client from within this app. I can't actually remember exactly how to open a file dial dialog. I'm pretty sure it's open file dialog. Control full stop, prompts me for that, open file. I think it might be a static method in it, so let's have a look. No, so we go, instead of that, we go new open file dialog, boom, open file dot show dialog. Makes sense, cool, cool, cool. If open file dot show dialog, so it's gonna prompt it's gonna bring up that open file dialog. Then we go say has value and we'll say equals equals true. Okay. Instead we'll say equals equal doesn't equal true and we'll just return. So what this means is if they open the file dialog and they don't choose anything, we're gonna say, okay, cool, don't do anything with it. So we've got a file now. They've picked up the file. We probably wanna put this file into a variable, open file dot file name and file name is a string containing the full path so it's not just the name it's the entire path of the file so we got the file path and now we just want to upload it so we'll do what we did before using ftp client client uh, no, ftp it's shorter equals create ftp client ftp upload async upload file async because you know what? It's useful. We'll go file path, remote path, path.get name. Ooh, what path is this? Yeah, Windows shapes path. So that's not what we want. Instead, we want system.io.path and we want to get get file name. FTP. I'm sorry, file path. So that, that'll get the file name of the file path. And that's literally it. Except we want to make it in a sync method and we want to await. And then after that, what about we show a message box? File uploaded dog dollar sign. And then we'll go file path is the file that we've uploaded. Let's see if this works first go. They rarely do work first go, but I could be just that good. Oh, so it's up. We'll put a breakpoint over here. We'll press upload, open file dialog, show dialog. Boom, we get a dialog. What do we want to upload? Let's go to our desktop. Let's create a new text document called new file to upload Duke. And we'll choose that. But before we do that, let's add some text to it. Ah, uh, yay, actually. I type whatever I want. So open our program again, choose this file. We've, this would have returned true because we've gone path, passed it and file path. Oh, cool. It's on our desktop. So we'll create the FTP client like we did just before. We'll upload the file. So we'll go back to our example directory for the FTP and the file will appear in here. So we've got, yeah, woo, and we've got, this is an uploaded file. And then finally, 
we get a little message box. File uploaded dog, the file that we uploaded .txt. Okay. And that's it for this episode, guys. Stay tuned for the next episode. We're going to build on this up WPF app and actually create a real FTP client. And you can build it with me. Bring a code of friends along and look after each other and look after yourselves. See you next time.